guys? How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Here it is, 6.39 p.m. I'm just getting up, getting my shower, putting on my captivity caftan, comb my hair, no makeup. I feel good, well rested. And I feel good after I had that first COVID shot. My arm was really sore yesterday, but you know, it's, it's fine now. And I was really, really tired, but I feel fine. I feel well rested. I did get more sleep, which I needed because I'm always up. Okay, y'all know what I'm gonna fix. Okay, I marinated this yesterday. Some chicken wings. Seasoned them with this here. This gourmet collection. Kicking chicken finger licking spice blend. Okay, it came from William Sonoma or Sonoma. My honey sent it to me. I'm shake it up. I'm gonna put some more on my chicken, even though I had it on here. Of course, I also added the mustard. And then I added this. I'm gonna sprinkle some black pepper on it too, even though I'm going to bread these wings. Ooh, that was good. I got to tell you about these wings, y'all. Oh, let me tell you about these wings. Okay, I went to Pete's Market. And they had a bag of uh, already cut up chicken wings. And so I, I bought some before and they were fine. I bought these. These are cut up. And it was, looks like a thousand. The little wing tip part was in the bag. More wing tips than wings. There's more what? I'm filming. And so I didn't appreciate that. But I don't want the wing tips. So they put them wing tips in here to make it weigh more. So I pay more for them. But anyway, let me lower this. Okay. I'm going to use my breader sh shaker bowl. I buy this from Amazon. Okay, today I will be using some Shore Lunch Classic Fried Chicken Breading. And you can find this from Amazon. The company sent this to me a while ago. I used some and I vacuum sealed it back up. Got so much breading, I forget what I got. I'm going to taste it. I forgot what it tastes like. I'm going to taste the breading itself. You might have to add some more breading to it. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I ain't got to add nothing. I was going to add this. But no. I'm eat it just like that. I'll put a little more in there. So what I wanted to barbecue outside. I like barbecuing. I thought about getting an electric um, pellet grill. But now I leave well enough alone. 
I know how to use. You see what I was about to do? I was about to put this in the drawer. Lord have mercy. Um, I know how to use a charcoal grill very well. So, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Plug my Ninja Foodi Extra Large grill in. Make sure ain't nothing in here. Turn it on. Set it for air crisp. Set it for 400 degrees Fahrenheit and for 22 minutes. Turn it on to preheat. So that's, it look like it's set for 425. I want it set for 400. Okay, there you go. So. Putting my already washed and seasoned marinated wings up in here. And I just took them out the refrigerator so they're still really cold. I usually like to let them sit out for maybe 30 minutes to get kind of room temperature. Okay. Put the top on. lid on the bread is shaking bowl. Got to hold the lid, y'all. You know the first time Walter used it, he was holding it by the two handles on the side. And you wonder why it fell apart. You have to hold the lid and put your little fingers up under the bottom ledge here. And shake. No problem. Nicely coated. I didn't use no egg wash, none of that. No buttermilk, none of that. I don't do that. <laughs> I bought me a new Evo oil sprayer. Let me turn it on the spray function. You can turn it for spray, you can turn it to off. You can turn it for, I think a stream, but I'm interested in a spray. Let me test it. Brand new, so I have to prime the pump. Okay, it sprays nicely. I have been using the, the dupes. They got the metal ones that look just like Evo, but it ain't Evo. So I said I want me a blue Evo. I got me a red one and I also got me a purple one. Just because. They cost more than the others. I'm going to spray this. I usually don't. I don't want nothing sticking. I ain't playing. Take off the excess breading of the chicken. This one bogus chicken. One bag of wing tips. They had a lot of well three of my grandkids were over here yesterday. Twins and then the big sister came over. And mama is in the hospital. She's she's going home today. And so the big one was hungry. So I was fixing up the chicken, getting ready to fix it. She said, it's okay. We're going to go home and my mama going to dash her something to eat. Door dash. Whatever the young folks be doing. Okay, 
Okay, let me shake this. These are some nice size wings. Uh, uh, Y'all know I got a blog. It's called Miss Brazel's Reflection. So I did a blog about how to air fry perfect wings. So they'll be nice, perfectly golden brown, crispy, and good. This is enough chicken for us. Cause the more I make, the more we're going to eat. So I still got some in the bowl. I want to put all these in here. Okay, get your little self over there. Pushing it over. Get over. Because I don't plan on flipping these at all. Well, these are mostly flats. Okay. I'm going to also put these in this bread or bowl. Well, I see they gave me mostly flats, and that's what I like. I got six drumette pieces, and the rest are all flats. Okay. Well, that's worth getting the wing tips that I can't use, or that I'm not going to use. I'll leave the link for my breader shaker bowl in my description box. I'm going to spray my chicken with olive oil. Can y'all see? See, it's nice, nice big spray. I don't want my chicken to look powdery. One of my, well, somebody who watches me told me to uh, don't put oil on my chicken to spray it with water. Yeah, right. Um, spray his food with some water. <laughs> Once again, I'm using Shore Lunch. I think I have seen this at Walmart. But the company sent this to me. A bunch of it. Got the shore lunch for fish. I got the beer batter shore lunch. Okay, I will be back. Okay, y'all. Want to like the corn and the Hasselback potatoes so much. You want it more. So get some more. So this is how you use this little potato cage then it looks like this it has little spikes in here to hold the potato I wash my potatoes press it down good with a sharp knife and cut through it and the, the wood block keeps it from going all the way through so that's what makes the hassle back get the fingers out the way Spot. And it's like this. You cook quicker. I want to do this last one. Remember to keep your fingers out the way. Stuff down in there. Got the corn in there already. I usually, when I'm fixing corn by itself, I usually put sugar in it. A little salt dries out the kernel. 
looking at this fake butter. I can't believe it's not butter. Spraying that on. Put some salt in here. Might as well put some pepper. Put my pepper thing. Use my nice pepper grinder that I don't have to grind. Just turn it upside down and it works. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And add some kosher salt. Oh, and this is uh, chicken broth. I'm boiling the corner potatoes in instead of water. Okay. Okay, my chicken is done. The camera had cut off. I had to delete some things. They said the storage was full. So this is done. How pretty that looks. Maybe that'd be a thumbnail. Delish. I didn't flip the chicken at all. That's how it looks on the other side.